Hey, welcome guys. It's another week and it's another prediction video for week eight of the 2024 season. Man, I can't I can't believe we're already in week eight. Half of the season is over. So so let's get into the prediction. The first game we're going to go over is the Cleveland Browns and the Baltimore Ravens. Last week, the Cleveland Browns lost their quarterback, Deshaun Watson. He got an Achilles tear, so he's going to be out of football for the rest of the season. Man, he was having a good game too, and then he got injured. And the Baltimore Ravens blew out the Buccaneers on Monday Night Football. So I am going with my pick is the Baltimore Ravens because they have too much. They can run the ball and control the clock. My pick is the Baltimore Ravens. Next game up, it is the Detroit Lions versus the Tennessee Titans. Yeah, we all know what <laughs> we all know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a blowout by the Detroit Lions. Lions have too much firepower. But, but the one thing the Lions are missing is the pass rush. After Aiden Hutchinson went down, they have zero pass rush. But the Tennessee Titans are just a horrible team. Just a horrible team. So I'm going with the Lions to win this game. You got you, you to gotta go with the Lions right here. Next game up, it is the Indianapolis Colts and the Houston Texans. He, uh, last Sunday, Houston did not look good. CJ Stroud only had 86 yards passing in the whole game. But they were missing five starters on defense. And one starter on offense, but it looks like they're going to get some of the players back on defense. And the Colts, I don't know what to say about the Colts. The Colts are, the Colts are up in the team right now, so I, I got to go with the Houston Texans. Next game that I'm very interested in, in because it's my team, is the Green Bay Packers versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm picking the, I'm picking Green Bay to win this because they, they should be a, this should be an easy win for the Packers. I know that the Jaguars got a great win. Last week in London, but they were playing a Patriots team that really is that and that and that worse than the Jacksonville Jaguars. And and the Green Bay Packers defense, they're flying around. They stopped CJ Stroud only to. 86 yards, and the uh, Jaguars don't have any good offensive weapons, so I'm going with the Packers on this one. Next, it is the Carolina, no, it's the Arizona Cardinals versus the Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins is not doing that well without without their starting quarterback. 
in Arizona, they're just a bad team. But there is good news for the Miami Dolphins. Tua Bailoa is practicing this Wednesday, and he might be playing this Sunday. Hopefully, he can play. And if he does play, I give the edge to the Dolphins. But if Tua misses another game, I got to go with Kyler Murray on this one. So my heart says to go with the Cardinals, but my brain says go with the Dolphins. So I'm going with the Dolphins in this one. Then we get to the New York Jets versus the Boston. Patriots. Patriots are starting the rookie quarterback, Drake May. He he doesn't look that bad, but his team is bad. And what can you say about the New York Jets? On paper, they look like a Super Bowl team on paper, but in real life, they have no chemistry together. That offense is horrible. That defense cannot stop the run. But the last time they met, the Jets did blow the Patriots out of the water. So I'm going with the New York Jets this week. So I got to go with the New York Jets. The next game is the Atlanta Falcons versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is a divisional game. They're both four and three. Both teams are coming off a loss. The Buccaneers got blown out by the Baltimore Ravens on Monday Night Football, and the Falcons lost the Heartbreaker. But I do believe in Baker Mayfield more than I believe in Kirk Cousins on that reason. I'm going with the Tampa Bay Pugamier to win the game. Next game, it, it, it is the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Cincinnati Bengals. The Eagles got a close win last week. Hurts, Hurts is not bad, but he's not great either. And the Bengals, they they look impressive last week, especially Jamar Chase. So if if the Bengals can get the passing game going and the running game going, they do have a chance of beating the Eagles. But I, I cannot go against the Eagles. Too much talent on the offense. Way too much. So I'm picking the Philadelphia Eagles on this one. Now we come to the Saints versus the Chargers. Saints got blown out last Thursday. And the Chargers lost to the Arizona Cardinals. Not a good... Not a good... We start the season. It looks like Derek Carr is out for another week again. And the rookie has to come in. So I'm picking the Chargers to win. Just because the Saints are starting the rookie quarterback again. Next game we are going to predict is the Buffalo Bills versus the Seattle Seahawks. These two teams had a great win last week. But I like the Bills in this one. They added Amari Cooper, and Amari Cooper made a fast impact 
last week, Porterville scoring a touchdown with four catches for 66 yards. And the Seahawks, it looks like DK Metcalf got injured. We don't know how bad the injury is. So he might he might be out for the game or he might be in. But yeah, on that reason, I'm picking the Buffalo Bills to get the win here. Next game, it, it is the Chicago Bears and the Washington Commanders. Last week, the Bears were on a bye week, so they're rusted up. And the Commanders got a huge victory. But their starting quarterback did get hurt. But it looked like it's not too serious, but they gotta. I gotta check on the team through the week. But if the, if Daniel can play quarterback this week, I'm going with the Washington Commander if the quarterback plays. So the next game, it it, it is the. Worst game ever. <laughs> Carolina Panthers versus the Denver Broncos. The Carolina Panthers, they look horrible. They can't get anything on offense. Their defense stinks. They have no running game, no passing game. It's just a disaster. But the Denver Broncos, they have a good defense. I like the defense. The defense is nice. And Bo Nix has been playing better and better every week. So on that note, it, it, it is the Carolina Panthers. So I'm going with the Denver Broncos to win this by a big margin. Here. Next game, it, it, it is the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Las Vegas Raiders. And yeah, there's nothing to say about this game. It's going to be the Chiefs winning this game. But recently, Patrick Mahomes is not playing that well. But they are winning games. So I don't know how they're winning games, but they're winning games. So I cannot go against the Chiefs. So I picked the Chiefs to win the game handily. Now we come to the Sunday night game, and that is the your Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers. This game is hard to choose because Dallas Cowboys, they, they're not playing that well, but they do have weapons on offense. But man, the injuries for the Niners are bad. Last week, the Niners lost Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuels. <laughs> so they might not be ready to play. Definitely, Debo is not going to play. Definitely. Debo, he got rushed to the hospital because his, lung, his lungs were filling up with fluid. So that's not a good sign. I don't know what happened to Brandon Ayuk, but we got to monitor his injury in the week. But if the Niners can get the running game going against the Dallas Cowboys, I'm picking the Niners because Dallas, they have a poor run defense, and we all know that the Niners can run the ball very, very well, 
at a high level. So I am going with the Niners on this one. And then we come down to the Monday night game, and that is the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New York Giants. Yeah. New York Giants are a crappy team. They can't get anything going. Malik Neighbor is still out with the injury. And yeah. But the Steelers, what a comeback against the New York Jets last Sunday night. Russell Wilson played well. And he, he might be the starting quarterback again this week. So I, I have to go with the Pittsburgh Steelers on this one. So that is it for week eight predictions. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please subscribe, like, and share. And like I always say, stay safe, stay positive, and always go Pack Go. And I'll see you next time. All right, guys. You guys have a good one.